Hi, today's our project DIY is repairing dead cordless drill. If your cordless drill won't turn on, it's not the end of its life. This is a common problem that can be fixed. In our cases, the battery pack have the problem. A battery is a container consisting of one or more cells, which chemical energy is converted into electricity and used as a power source. If the battery will not hold a charge, then it will need to be replaced. The batteries on cordless drills are usually the first part to fail. If you've ever priced a replacement battery pack, you'll know that it is probably not a cost-effective purchase. Most people would rather buy a new drill than spend over half the price of a new drill on a replacement battery pack. The best option might be to rebuild the batteries, but only if you have some experience using a soldering iron. Alternative is to replace all the battery elements inside power pack. It's actually quite easy to do and saves your pocket when compared with purchasing new pack. Of course it'll take some time and effort. But for someone willing to DIY and values recycling, it's the right way to go. First part of project is opening the battery pack and checking what type and size the batteries are. Opening the pack depends a lot of the pack itself. After opening the pack, one has to check what size the rechargeable cells are. Some tips I can give you is Remark the battery part So you well know the positive and negative Remove the battery cells they will all be wired together as a unit. Remove the connecting wires by holding them with pliers while melting the solder that holds the wire to the battery terminals, using a soldering iron. Align the new drill battery cells correctly, according to your diagram. Solder all the connecting wires to the new drill battery cell terminals, according to your diagram. Work quickly so as not to overheat the batteries.
Fasten the screws that hold the case together, using a screwdriver. Charge the battery pack overnight before using it with your cordless drill. Almost done here. And the drill once again can work as perfect, as new. Well done. Use this information at your own risk. Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment, or from the information contained in this video, the user must take responsibility. If you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Pro 2 DIY